Why don't hire him? Rush next. You fought him like two, three times. <laughs> I fought him two times, you know. Uh, I won the fight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey you guys, uh, I'm here with uh, Louis Tavares and we're gonna look forward to the, to the glory 78. Uh, we have a, a fantastic fight card and uh, Louis is gonna make his predictions on all the fights. Yeah, man. Um, looking forward to the 78, glory 78. I'm fighting, so uh, gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's look at the first fight. Yeah. Gerson uh, versus Pile. Yeah. What do you predict? Uh, I saw Gerson fight uh, a year back uh, when I fought in uh, Gelderdo. Mm -hmm. uh, very technical fighter, strong kicks. Uh, the other guy I'm not too familiar with, mm -hmm. so based on that I'm picking uh, Gerson to win. Mm. From what I saw in that fight, he, he was very impressive that day. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and, and about the tactics, what do you think? He has, he has uh, well, Gerson has very uh, spectacular kicks. He mm -hmm. likes to throw back kicks, he, he can throw uh, high, knee, high flying knees, high flying kicks. Uh, his boxing is also good. So uh, he's a very complete fighter. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, yeah, I think he will use that to, to, uh, to expose his, his opponent and mm -hmm. win the fight. So okay. I think he will, it will be a technical fight from his side. Let's let's move on. Yeah, Amisha Menchikov. Well, that that's an interesting fight. I'm uh, I'm very excited for this for that one because uh, I think Amisha is one of one of the top talents in that weight class. Yeah, he's a good fighter. But yeah. Menchikov is also and he's strong. And he's very strong. He's very strong. So uh, I think it's a 50 50 fight. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm picking Amisha to win though. But uh, he has to be prepared. He has to be very prepared uh, because that that Mashikov is a is a tank. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, he he is. A he's tank, a bold so. guy, tank, yeah. and he, yeah. Will, yeah. he will go through you if you if yeah. you look out. You saw his fights on Glory. I think yeah. uh, he he bulldozed it against everybody. Yeah. So so uh, so based on that, he's a strong fighter. But I think Hamisha is the more technical fighter. Mm -hmm. He has more uh, arsenal. You know, he likes to use his kicks, he likes to use his boxing very well. So, uh, that's why I'm picking Hamisha to win. Mm. But, I'm, uh, but it will not be an easy victory. I think it's going to be a, a hard-fought victory for him. Okay, okay. And then the next fight. Yeah. Do you think Maslovi is going to win? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to win, he's going to win. We can go to that. <laughs> next fight. <laughs> now, what do you think about the fight, man? Well... <clears throat> Let me put this like this. Yeah. You're sitting next to me, so I cannot be straight. No, 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 no. I'm just kidding, just yeah. kidding. No, uh, looking, looking at your uh, way of fighting, yeah. looking at the way uh, you are winning your fight, I think you're going to win. Uh, I honestly think that. Uh, the, only, the only critics that I, that I will have is sometimes you need to finish it off with your kicks. Yeah. Because... You're so good with dodging the fight, uh, the, the the punches, and you know moving around. Your your footwork is perfect. But if somebody, if you let somebody miss, come back with come a punch. Back, way. Even if it's one 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 punch, two punches, and then finish it off with a, with a kick. Yeah. If you do that, I think nobody can beat you. You know, Thanks. it's like no, it's. Um, I, I don't want to compare you to uh, Mayweather. But he's letting a lot of people miss, but he comes back. He comes back with a with but, a down. But sometimes you 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 know put the chance away yeah. and then move away. Yeah. And that's that's what I'm missing. Yeah. But rather than that, you will win. Uh, I think on points. Thank you. Thank but you. But I will glad. I would be glad if, I like if you knock him out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I would be. Well, what do you think about him as a fighter? Because. I analyzed him, and I think he's a very solid fighter. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's good with his hands, good with his kicks, and he has a very strong knee, flying mm -hmm. knee. And you're the knee, you're the knee specialist. He should pay me. He should yeah, pay yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to the ten percent. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but no, he's he, he's a strong fighter. So yeah. like you said, he's um, he's he's solid, but uh, also with his knees. Yeah. But. I, I think if when you when you are standing in front of the opponent, 
um, it's, it's like you're analyzing the, the, the opponent as you should be and, yeah. and you're analyzing him on his strong points and when somebody attacks you, you let him miss. So if you let him miss with his strong uh, attacks, attacks yeah. Yeah, he will be nowhere. Yeah. And that's what I think. And he's strong, he's solid, yeah. but I think he's nowhere near your level. Am yeah. I am I too Yeah, no nah, you said am I, it. Am I am I too hard on him? No, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. You said it. I just have to prove it on that. Yeah, and that, that is that is the <laughs> that, thing that the where thing. you can lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, if yeah. if you're standing uh in front of him and yeah. you will put all your tactics, you know, in the water, you will lose the fight. Yeah, yeah of course. No but sure. if you're short, I don't believe you can yeah. lose that fight. Yeah man. So I have to uh What make him miss what and make him pay with the kicks. <laughs> what do you think about Katinas? Katinas? Yeah, against uh, Zimbi. Uh, well, they are both very explosive. Mm -hmm. uh, Katinas haven't fought for, I believe, I don't know, one hour. and a half year, maybe two years. Yeah, yeah. Well, that would be a big factor because the other guy, Zinedine, is, he fought like in December. Yeah, he has. In yeah. December, and after that, he fought again. Yeah, after that, he fought again. He's a very explosive fighter. He reminds me a little bit of Saki. Yeah, the, of the way he fights. Mm -hmm. uh, he likes to throw a, a long boxing combinations with the low kicks. You know, so but strong, strong, strong yeah. fighter. So I think, based on on the on the fact that Katinas hasn't fought in a long time, I think uh, Zinedine will win the fight. Yeah, I I I think also because the rhythm. The, the rhythm is a very big factor. Yeah, and some, some fighters they, they you know underestimate the rhythm. You yeah. need the rhythm to you know make a uh, a good fight. Yeah. And it's in in all the sports, you know. Yeah. It's not only in the fighting sport, but also with with soccer. Name it, you know. Yeah. You need you know some rhythm to get back in the same sharp pace that you that you were. And yeah. I think he has to uh, you know. I, I would I would choose another fighter if I was cutting nice. I would choose another fighter and say, hey, can you give me a <laughs> <laughs> give me a lower clue? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, well, we, we will see. We will see. Based on, I agree with you. I agree with you. I mm -hmm. think he's, uh, Zinedine will win the fight. Yeah. But uh, we will see. You know, uh, I, for the thing points, I know about, uh, I think he will force a late stoppage, like in round three. Mm -hmm. But. The thing I remember about Katinas is that he's very, he hits hard, so maybe he can pull it off in the, like in the first round with a KO. So. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing with heavyweights. KO is always in there. Lights out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, and what about Richters? Richters, Greg Mosley. Yeah. Richters is, you know, people say that he will be the next, you know, to win from from Rico, maybe within two years. He said it, within two years. How do you see um, him as a fighter? Because... Oh, I, I, I see him as a, you know, some, some people compare him to me, you know, because yeah, he's tall, yeah. he's, you know, flexible with his knees, yeah. making jump knees and jump kicks and, and all that. So I, I think he's a very good fighter. Um, how do they say it? A rough diamond. Yeah. You know, they need to clean him up uh, uh, here and there, but, Uh, like he fought against uh, Tarek, he had a good fight, and he he, he got the fight with uh, maybe 10 days prior to the yeah, fight, you know. Yeah, days prior. So, no, he's a good fighter, a yeah, very good. They 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 just need to brush him up, you know, to to get him in the, uh, you know, the pace that he needs to be. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you think? Is uh, it gonna be a win I think, for? I think he will win. I think he will win. Uh, yeah. Mosley is a is a. Okay, fighter. I saw him fight like once before, a long time ago in Glory. I think in Glory, Denmark. Mm -hmm. It was a long time ago. Uh, but I think uh, based on what I've seen from uh, Leifi, he will win the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plazibat. Plazibat. What yeah. do you think about Plazibat? Tarik. Tarik. Well, Tarik is a tank, you know. He likes oh, he is. Yeah, he's, yeah. I think he, he only has one gear that's like... Forward. Yeah, forward. <laughs> So you know what you know what's he go, uh, what he's going to bring and uh, Plazibot is similar but I think a little bit of a little a little bit more polished mm -hmm. in his in his technical uh, on his technical side. Mm -hmm. So well, it's a very hard fight. I think based on pace, uh, Tarik has to take it. But I can see it go the other way. 
it, it, it depends on how Plasibar shows up. Yeah. Because his his, his last fight against um, Zinedine wasn't that great. No. But he had he had a good one before that. So it, it based on it is based on how he shows up uh, the day yeah. of the fight. Yeah. But I think I think, Mark, I think Tarek is, is is the favorite. Yeah, for me too. Yeah. For me, I think Tarek Tarek is gonna win the fight. Yeah. Uh, maybe in a, I think even a, a second round stoppage yeah. or knockout. Yeah. You know, I, I think that is going to win the fight. Um, he, he now knows um, maybe th three months before the fight that he's going to fight. You know, yeah. he so train. he can uh, have a good uh, preparation. Yeah. So I think he's going to win the fight. And you know, Tarek Tarek is strong. Tarek will not back up. He will just go forward and try to beat. Uh, beat his opponent. Yeah. So that's that's what I think. Yeah. What do you think about maybe the best talent that we have in the last maybe ten years, T. Johnny? What do you think about him? Well, I like him as a fighter and also as a person. We yeah. speak. Uh, we uh, we uh, chat a lot on uh, on Instagram. I like his I like his mindset. Yeah. Uh, he's a fighter. That likes to do things his own way. Just like I, just like I tend to do. Uh, he tends to reach and uh, search things. Mm -hmm. So I like that about him. Uh, he's the favorite, definitely. I think he will. I think he will win mm -hmm. comfortably on points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's a championship fight. Yeah, it's five rounds. So I th that's why I say comfortably on points. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, the other guy is tough. I think he will not. I think Tijani. What he lacks is a little bit of like that finesse KO power. So uh, and the other guy is very uh, very strong. So I think he will not force uh, the KO, but I think he will win comfortably on points. Yeah. I think if he implies his game plan for like the first round, he will he will walk over. Uh, he moved to another gym. He, yeah. He went to Dayon Day's yeah. gym. Day's gym. Yeah. And I, I sometimes check his uh, his uh, bad work on on Instagram. Yeah. Do you think there is some progression? Um, I've been seeing the bad work also. Uh, I think there is. I think there is. Uh, you said like <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sucker right now, but I'm gonna say it anyway. <laughs> you said like <laughs> you said like he missed the progression in his last in his last gym. Mm -hmm. So that he he changed gym now, so I think that's a good step for him. Uh, I saw I, what I saw in in the pets work is a lot of uh, boxing combinations, so I think he's improved on that. So uh, I think you will see that in the ring also. Yeah, my, yeah. I I I still back the words up that I yeah. said uh, maybe two years ago, one and a half years yeah. ago that. He was training with with, with Coliseum, and I'm, I I love Tijani as a fighter. I've I've seen him when he was yeah. still young. You know, <laughs> I was looking at his fights, and I said he's gonna be the next champion within some years. Yeah. And then he, you know, he moved from his own trainer that built him up to another trainer, yeah. and then he jumped to 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 Coliseum. And then I was watching him. I was watching him in his fights. I was analyzing it. I was like, hey. This is the same Tijani that he was one and a half, two years ago. Yeah, yeah. He's not progressing. He's yeah. not, you know, he's not making steps. Yeah, yeah. So then I said it in an interview. And you got flagged for that. <laughs> people, yeah, people got angry. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. That's, yeah. that's what I. That's what I see. And now he moved to Dayon from Day Gym. Yeah. And in the in the past work. I see his progression. Yeah. I'm not saying that he will show it in the fight and yeah. he will, you know, be champion. I'm not. I'm not saying that, but he made a lot of progression, yeah. and I hope him. I'm really hoping to see that in in the fight because I love to get the, you know, and I love to get it right. Yeah. You know? No, yeah. I, I I hope so for him because uh, you know, like I said, I like I like him as a as a person. I like him as a fighter, so I wish him well. Yeah. So I think uh, I hope that he wins the fight. Yeah. And basically, he has to win the fight. And then a rematch, a big rematch between between Donovan Wilson yeah. and Belgaro Yeah. Well, uh, the last time it was very surprising. I thought that uh, UC would win the fight. Mm -hmm. I, uh, the last time they fought, I thought the fight came too soon for uh, Wilson, mm -hmm. but he proved himself. Ooh. It was a, it was a great victory. Yeah. But I think 
this time, I don't know why, it's, it's my gut feeling, I think uh, Yusuf is going to get it. Why? Because the, it's the revenge factor. Mm -hmm. You know, I think uh, Yusuf has changed gym also. Yeah. He, he went back to his old gym, I think. Yeah. Um, I spoke to him like a year ago. Uh, we, we had one sparring session together and he told me what was wrong at my gym. He told me why he moved. And he told me he's in a much better place now. So I think that will benefit him in the fight. Mm -hmm. He he changed. Uh, well, he didn't change, but he all he's also been doing MMA. He, yeah, he's also been doing MMA. Yeah. Is that going to be a factor for him to you know change his hands, his stance? You know, um, is that going to be an uh, effect? I don't think so because I've I've picked up MMA also. And uh, I've been training some MMA, and, hmm. and when I'm when I'm sparring kickboxing, I don't feel the difference because I'm a kickboxer of nature. So, yeah. And I think that's the same thing with him. So I don't think it will play that big of a fact uh, of a factor. So you have Dogger will win him from Donald. I think I think he will take it this time. That that doesn't say I uh, don't like this. I think this is a good good fighter, but I think the revenge factor and the and the. And the fact that he's changed gym, he's in a much better place now. Yeah. Uh, Usury, I think that will that will uh, elevate him mentally to win this fight. So, what do you think about uh, about uh, the results of the fight? If is it is it gonna be Donovan or Logan? I think uh, Usury will will take it by points. By points. Points, points victory. Okay. I think uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a hard fight victory for him, but I think he will I think he will take it on mm -hmm. by points victory. Wow, wow, yeah. I, uh, yeah, what do you think? Yeah, okay. yeah, I, 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 you know, um, I know them both, yeah. you know. Yeah, me too. Uh, Belgaris, I've been working with him also, not with pads or anything, yeah. but you know, in the broadcast, I've been working yeah. with him, so yeah. he became a friend of mine, but it's gonna be tough, yeah, you know, because Donovan is. He's surprising me every time he fought. He fight, you know. Yeah. Every time he fights, he he surprises me. Yeah. And maybe he has been working on some plan, you know. He been cooking up some plans, you know. <laughs> you, you don't know. Yeah, yeah. So I really, I really can't tell who's gonna win the fight. But that's the that's the good thing about the fight game, right? You you can make predictions all you like, but <laughs> when it starts, you yeah. have to see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> and then one of, I believe one of the biggest rematch fights you know on this card yeah you know Pereira yeah. you know against Vagitov yeah um, there has been controversy about the results yeah what do you think about this fight well first let me ask you what you what you thought about the first fight who won the first fight I thought uh, Vagitov won the fight yeah uh, in my, on my card yeah I, I but I but uh, Pereira was making a lot of hard uh, actions, hard punches, hard kicks. Yeah. Uh, the knees were landing in the first, the first and second round. First and second round. I don't know if you know that gave him the advantage. I don't know, but uh, Vakitov picked it up from round three. Yeah. He's going. He's he was going in a high pace, maybe not high enough. I don't know how the judges saw it, but I think that. In my eyes, he won that fight. Well, actually, I I saw it live, and live I really thought that Fakitov won uh, quite comfortably. But after watching it back, it was it was closer. It was really close. Yeah, it was close. It was close. And I think you, I think uh, your your analyst, your analyst was uh, good because I think if Fakitov would have picked up, uh, especially in the first two rounds, if he would have fought at a higher pace. I think he would have won way comfortably, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, we will see what uh, what uh, what it will be like this time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to the fight. So, you think? I think based on the last fight, if it goes like the same, uh, let, let me say this. Let me say this. Uh, I think the one the uh, the fighter that has to that has to adjust more this time is Pereira. Yeah. Because if Pereira, he fights the same way, if he, if he fights the same way, you will lose. You yeah. will lose. Yeah. You will lose. Yeah. That's 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 for sure. So, 
so if if you're in uh, if you're in five of shoes, it's very easy for you. You mm-hmm. just have to do the same thing. Oh, but easy, not easy, <laughs> not easy. But the the plan is it's clear. The yeah. plan is clear. You have to do the same thing, but at a higher pace. In a higher pace. In a higher pace, and you have to start more. Uh, you have to start quicker. Yeah, yeah. But if you're Pereira, Pereira has to really like change a few things. He has to change a lot more. Yeah, maybe, uh, uh, to win from a five of yeah. because. Vakitov is strong with us. He's a complete fighter. Yeah. He's a complete fighter, but he, like you said, he has to move up the pace. Yeah. You know, he has to, uh, from, from round one, he has to move up the pace to, you know, if it becomes to a decision, he will take the win. Yeah. yeah. And I think what Pereira has to do is he has to uh, adjust the, the distance. Mm-hmm. His distance last time was way up. Yeah, because, because he's, he's tall. He's you know? tall. Yeah. He was fighting on the back foot. He was letting a Pereira. Uh, he was letting fact of get in his face. You know, yeah. he has long arms, so he has to keep him on on the on the end of his punches and yeah. the end of his kick. So he didn't do that in the first fight. No, and I don't know why he, he does because he's he, like you said, he has long arms. Yeah, when he's standing up, he can touch the ground. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you yeah. know. So, uh, so yeah, he has to uh, adjust the distance. That's yeah. the main focus for me. Yeah. If, if I was Peru. Okay. He has to keep him at, at the end of his uh, punches and kicks. Okay. And then the you know the main fight, the main fight on the card. Yeah. Uh, Butter Hari, Rushneck. Uh, Butter is you know he's been a long time one of the strongest fighters yeah. in the world. You fought him like two two times. I, I fought him two times. You know. Uh, <laughs> I won the fights. <laughs> <laughs> And you know he's been you know from from day one he's been one of the greatest. Um, but in the last couple of fights he's not been doing that good. Yeah. What do you think uh, about him fighting uh, Rushnik? Well, um, on paper it's a good fight for him because you know Rushnik is a little bit lower ranked fighter. So on paper it's a it's a logical fight for him after his last loss. Yeah. So based on that, I think he he's in a he's in a must-win situation. <sighs> yeah. Oh yeah. He is in a really must-win yeah. situation because people are already starting to doubt doubt his you know performance. Yeah, but you always have that. You yeah. know, uh, I think you you experience the same thing. If you lose, you can win twenty fights on KO. You lose the. 21st fight and they will doubt you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, they will say he's not good enough. He's yeah, old. He's, he's this. Yeah, he's this and that. So you know, you will always have doubters. But you know the thing is with him, uh, yeah, he's lost like two big fights against Rico. Now everybody can lose about him, so that's not the thing. But but uh, other than that, he hasn't performed to the level we are, we're accustomed to from him. Yeah, you know, he's uh, he's fighting. But but the. Does he need to be on the same level? He's now 36, yeah. have been uh, away from the fighting game a yeah. lot of years. He comes back. Can we still expect the same level that he had when he was 25? This, for me, for yeah. me, I think he needs to change his uh, state of mind because he's not 25 anymore. He yeah. cannot, not, he cannot knock the people out the same way like he did when he was 25. Yeah. Well, I I totally agree with you. You know, if you for instance look at Mayweather, if you if you uh, look at his, the beginning part of his career when he was pretty boy, he was knocking people out, throwing combination. But when he got older, when he got money, yeah. <laughs> he he was basically comfortably winning fights on points, picking your opponents. So, and he and he understood that once you get older, you have your body is not is not when you when you were young. So you have to adjust uh, your skills. I think I think Butler should do that too. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, he's been known for knocking people out for all his career. He has a high knockout rate. Yeah, he has a high knockout rate. It cannot be the same when you're, you know, when, when you have to 36. So yeah. I think he has to, he has to make some adjustments in his tactics. But you know, he's changed gym, so uh, I think Saeed will help him with that. So uh, so uh, I think uh, you you will see some changes, but. The biggest change for him should be mentally. Yeah, should be mentally. I think he has to uh, really want to win, but really want to win comfortably, not in a smart way. Yeah, in a smart way. Yeah, you know, uh, it's it's uh, when when you reach a, a certain kind of age, it's like uh, work smart and in, in 
instead of working hard, you know. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think uh, that's the plan for him. But he should win. He must win, you know. He must win. He must win. I I hope Sai, you know, because I hope Sai will bring him in a state of mind that he uh, has to take the way of thinking, yeah. knocking people out, you know, that way of thinking. He had. He, he should put that aside, yeah. Yeah. you know. He, I think he just needs to win. Yeah. To point. No, Carl. He just needs to win. He just, the fight he just need to get the comfortably, yeah. and then move up to it. And people, form. and people forget. Of, I think he forgets it because you know, if you look at Butler's skill set, he's a very technical fighter, but he doesn't use that to, to his advantage. He likes to knock people out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's the only thing in his mind, and yeah, that's yeah. he needs to put that aside. He you know, we aside. just need him to win. You know, to to you know set that uh, Rico Butter. Three, yeah. you know, if 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 you want to see that fight, he needs to build it up again. Yeah, yeah. you know, it, it wouldn't have you know any credit if he if he if loses he loses this, this fight. fight, it wouldn't have any credit. To, yeah, to, it it would it would be stupid to face Rico yeah. again if he loses. This yeah, fight. yeah. But yeah, he he, he had a, uh, uh, the the two fights that he had were good fights. I mean, especially the second one. Yes, especially the second he one. He can he can say that you know. Based on rounds, he won more rounds than Rico. <laughs> you can say that based on rounds, but he still lost. And the fight. he knocked him down. Yeah, he knocked him down twice. twice. Yeah. And even the first fight, you know, the first round, he was winning. He was he winning. Was, yeah, he was. Winning. He was winning. So uh, yeah. he can say if if it comes down based on rounds, he won more rounds than Rico. But yeah, yeah. Well, we're not bashing Rico. No, we just. You know. <laughs> it is what no, it is. is. It, it is what it, no, no, no. It is what it is. It is what it is. But uh, yeah. Yeah, but it has to win. You know, the the, Rush, the Polish guy, he, a strong fighter. I saw him fight against uh, Benny in a tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, Benny couldn't knock him out, mm -hmm. and Benny is is also a knockout artist. So he's a strong fighter, but I think uh, but his his back is against the wall. He has to show. Uh, I would say the fans, but not the fans. He has to show himself that he that he really wants to win, and he has to show himself that he still got it. Can we expect a surprise from Rusnik? Yeah, always. It's heavyweight. No, but can yeah. is, is it even possible for him? Yeah. To, I you think, know you know, make us fall down from the chairs, you know, like Whoa. it's it's possible, it's possible. He's a fighter, you know, I'm he's a fighter, he's been training he's been training hard. I I think, you know, it's the fight of his life. Uh, a win against Butter will set you up for uh, for big fights, so you know, and what does he need to do to win from Butter? Well, uh, does he need to change his tactics? Does he need to, you know, go forward, go backwards, Big, just let, moving around? Or let, let me say this: based on uh, Butler's last fight, what I saw from him physically in the fight, uh, uh, how to beat Butler now is to make it like a real street fight. Make it a rough fight, mm -hmm. and I think you will make him angry. Yeah, make him angry. Then make he will make mistakes. Yeah, then, then yeah. he can make mistakes. You know, then he will make mistakes. But if you keep butter, butter has to be very focused. Yeah, don't let his emotions take over. Irritate him. Irritate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think if the Russian of no, not the Russian, the Polish guy does that, he will have a, he will have a big chance. Yeah, keep your hands up. He will get irritated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. like you did. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, Louis. Thank you, thank you for this conversation. Thank you for you know your your thoughts and your um, analysis on the upcoming Glory seventy eight. Glad to hear from you. Yeah. Uh, work hard. You know, get your prep. Don't get injured, please. No, you know, no, no, no. <laughs> don't get you know Corona or anything because we we love to see you fight. I, you. I'm hoping for a great fight on Glory seventy eight. Thank you, man. People, want thank you for watching. Till next time. Bye bye.